What was that? You actually want to meet him? That's right. Why waste your time talking to him? Yeah, it's not like he'll tell you anything interesting. Forget it. It's pointless. Shut up and answer the question. I know he's around here somewhere. I just want to talk to that Shinigami. I heard he had some fun in the human world.
name is written in this notebook shall die. That's pretty lame. Not to mention twisted. It's really not that different from one of those chain letters you get. The human whose name is written in this notebook shall die? Come on. Results of the nationwide exams. I've been waiting all day. Here. Goodness, number one again. These are the highest scores you've had. Yeah, I guess. I'm going to study in my room, so please don't interrupt me, okay? As you wish. Oh, Light, do you want anything at all, dear? You can ask for whatever you like. No, I'm fine, Mom. Thanks, though. I've already got what I want. Just in the past week, every single one of them involved a heart attack. 
and I think it's safe to say there are other criminals whose deaths are unaccounted for. Uh, Morning, and Chief. We started the meeting without you. Criminals who were probably That's fine. Right. I had to take an urgent call later. from headquarters. Why should it matter whether it's a criminal or someone innocent? Murder is still murder. It's still too early to consider these a homicide. And how did all these people have heart attacks at the exact same time? Investigating a series of heart attacks is pointless. I don't see what else we can learn. Absolutely. If these people have been shot or stabbed, at least we'd have something to go on. If that's the case, it looks like we'll have no choice but to bring in L. Uh, Chief, what's this L they're talking about? Right. I forgot that it's your first time at this conference. We don't know L's real name or whereabouts. In fact, we still don't even know what he looks like. However, he's managed to solve every case he's ever taken on. And he's tackled some of the greatest mysteries this world has ever known. He hides in the shadows, but he's the best of the best. A last resort, our trump card. But I've heard this L is extremely arrogant. I understand he'll only take on cases that he's personally interested in. That's exactly right. Besides, we don't even know how to contact him. L is already on the move. <gasps> Gentlemen, L has already begun his investigation into these incidents. What? what? Huh? Who's that? That man's the only known person who can contact L. Nobody knows his true identity either. Please be silent. L would now like to address the delegates. Greetings to all of you at the ICPO. I am L. The legend of Kira, the savior. Hmm. Huh. Sounds pretty cool. Is this about you? Yeah. I think they've taken the name Kira from the English word killer. Can't say I'm too happy about that, but... It looks like that's the name they've decided to give me. When I search the word Kira, I'm pulling up tons of sites just like this one. The media hasn't picked up on it. They're still calling this a succession of unexplained deaths among the world's most hardened criminals. But... The people of the world can already sense that there's something happening. They know there's someone out there passing righteous judgment. Oh, this is how it should be. It's perfect. Everything is going just like I planned. We'd like to apologize for the interruption. As of now, we're bringing you a live worldwide broadcast from Interpol's ICPO. What's this? Interpol? We now take you live to the ICPO. I head up an international police task force, which includes all member nations. I am Linda L. Taylor, otherwise known as L. What? Who is this guy? So this is how it all begins. Criminals around the world are being murdered by a serial killer. I consider this crime to be the most atrocious act of murder in history. I will not rest until the person or persons responsible are brought to justice. Kira, I will hunt you down. I will find you. He seems certain he'll catch you. <laughs> that fool. He'll never find me. He'll have to get this first. And as long as the police don't find it, there won't be any evidence to convict me. Which means that catching me will be absolutely impossible. I anticipated that the police would get involved and that something like this might happen. Kira, I've got a pretty good idea what your motivation might be, and I can guess what you hope to achieve. However, what you're doing right now is evil. <laughs> You think I'm evil? I am justice! I protect the innocent and those who fear evil! I'm the one who will become the god of a new world that everyone desires! All those who would oppose that god, they are the ones who are truly evil! I guess you're just too stupid, Elle. Too bad. This could have been a lot more interesting if you'd only been a bit smarter. <laughs> me. The entire world is watching. L. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. I 
guess this just in case, but I, I never thought it would actually happen. Kira, it seems you can kill people without having to be there in person. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't just witnessed it. Listen to me, Kira. If you did indeed kill Lindell Taylor, the man who you just saw die on television, I should tell you that he was an inmate whose execution was scheduled for today. That was not me. What? The police arrested him in absolute secrecy, so you wouldn't have heard about him on TV or through the internet. It appears that not even you have access to information about these types of criminals. <laughs> he got you there. But I assure you, L is real. I do exist. Now, try to kill me. You, you bastard. Come on, come on, come on, right now, Are you trying to kill yourself, Elle? What's going on? Look, it's what is wrong? What are you waiting for? You gotta do it. Come on, try to kill me. Do it, Kira. What's the matter? Can't you do it? Well, Kira, it seems that you can't kill me after all. So there are some people you can't kill. You've given me a useful hint. Let me return the favor. I'll tell you something that I think you'll find interesting. Although this was announced as a worldwide broadcast, the truth is, we are only broadcasting in the Kanto region of Japan. I had planned to broadcast this message around the world until we found you, but it looks like that won't be necessary. I now know where you are. <laughs> this L guy is pretty good. To be completely honest with you, I never expected that things would go this well, but... It won't be too long now before I am able to sentence you to death. Elle has certainly lived up to his reputation. Uh -huh. He proved that Kira exists, that the deaths were murders, and that he is here in Japan. Naturally, I'm very interested to know how you're able to commit these murders without being present. But I don't mind waiting a little bit longer. You can answer all of my questions when I catch you. Let's meet again soon, Kira. Considered dismissing our original theory that Kira is a student. However, 
The main result of this event is that I was able to make two important deductions about Kira and how he kills. First, we can conclude that Kira is able to somehow determine the time of death for his victims. And second, it seems that Kira is childish and hates to lose. Huh? How come you're not using the death note today? You're studying for those entrance exams. Those are the least of my worries. Plus, it's a little late to start now. Uh huh? What you doing? Now this is the question. On December 14th, 12 FBI agents entered Japan as part of a Kira investigation. And yesterday, on December 27th, all 12 of them died. I've been most active during this period. Mr. Ray Penver, I am Kira. I've been investigating you. You're going to do something for me, but if you don't do exactly as I say, I will kill your entire family. And that goes for you too, of course. Hmm. What is this? Any minute now, your boss is going to send you a message with a file attachment. It contains the names and photos of all the FBI agents currently active in Japan. Now, one by one, you're going to look at each photo, and then write that agent's name in the space provided. You're going to do this for each agent. Farewell, Ray Penber. The envelope I gave him contained pages of the death note with the causes of death written in beforehand. Ray Penber, the person responsible for killing your colleagues was none other than you. Sorry, but can I ask you a favor? Yes, of course, dear. I'll send her over right away. Sayu, could you do something for me? What? Does it have to be now? Your father's been pulling overnighters with no change of clothes, so you're going to bring these to him. But, Mom, I promised my friends that I'd go out with them today. Why don't I go? I could use a break. Thanks, Light. I owe you one next time. <laughs> I know you used to be one of the best agents in the FBI, but you're my fiancé now. You told me you wouldn't get involved with the Kira case. And that you wouldn't do anything dangerous, remember, Naomi? We agreed. At least that's what you said when we decided to come to Japan together so I could meet your parents. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just force of habit. Sorry about that. No, I should be sorry. Let's forget about it. Anyway, once we have a few kids running around, you'll probably be so busy you'll forget you were ever an agent. Your mind will be occupied with better things, too. Ray. He's dead. No. He was murdered by Kira. That's unusual for Dad. I wonder if he's in a meeting right now. Please, I need to speak directly with someone from the Special Investigation Task Force. I have information relating to the Kira investigation. The Kira investigation? Hi, I'm Detective Suichiro Yagami's son, Light Yagami. I brought my father a change of clothes, but it doesn't look like he's in. Can I leave them here? Sure. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while, Light. As I thought, there's no one at headquarters. You're going to have to trust me on this, ma'am. I'll be sure to give them your message as soon as I see them, I promise. That's not good enough. I have to tell them in person. Excuse me. My father is actually in charge of the Kira investigation. If you'd like, I could pass your message on to him. His cell phone is off at the moment, but I should be able to contact him soon. 
a number of FBI agents were just killed, and a lot of detectives have quit the case because they're afraid of Kira. So he's pretty busy right now. Uh, like, it's probably better if you don't discuss this with him. True, but it's practically common knowledge at this point. Besides, I feel like I can trust her. You can almost see it in her eyes. She's a wise and careful person. I've got to say, you must be pretty brave to be getting involved in the Kira case like this. Oh, not really. Um, uh, we've been talking and I just realized I don't even know your name. My name is Light Yagami. Light's written with the character for Moon and Yagami with the characters for Night and God. My name is Shokumaki. It's written as Shining and Child. My last name is Space Tree. Miss Maki, right? <laughs> Miss Maki, I've been thinking about Kira's powers, and I believe they enable him to somehow control his victims before they die. I agree. And it seems like he also needs both a name and a face in order to kill. That makes sense. Somehow the FBI agents had their names and faces revealed, and Kira killed them all. Yes. It so happens that my fiancé was one of the agents killed. There were some important clues on the surveillance camera footage from the day he died. He was holding an envelope at the turnstiles and on the platform, but he left it on the train. My theory is that Kira probably received the FBI investigator's file while he was inside that train, and then used it to kill them. At the moment of his death, my fiancé was desperately trying to look back inside the train. Kira was probably still in the vicinity. In other words, I believe that the one on that train, the last person Ray saw before he died, was none other than Kira. <sighs> Gentlemen, it's an honor to meet all of you. This person is Watari. Um, what about your usual outfit? If I dressed like that, I'd be announcing to the world that I am Watari. That's all it takes to give away the location of our headquarters in Ryozaki. Oh, I see. Regardless of how she came to the conclusion, the fact remains this woman knows the truth. If she gives this information to the police, it won't take them very long to figure out that Kira is actually me. I have no choice but to eliminate her. Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. But the more I think about it, the more your theory makes sense to me. We can't waste any time. We need to start investigating it right away. What? Really? Do you mean that? Yes. So, have you told anyone else about this? No, you're the first person I've told. <laughs> you're lucky. But how will you get rid of her? It's not like you can do it here. Well, you have a gift for stating the obvious, are you okay? Start by telling me the exact time and date when your fiancé was on that train. It was 3.13 p.m. on December 27th. He took the Yamanote line from Shinjuku, bound for Shibuya. So, December 27th, on the Yamanote line, bound for Shibuya, right? Yes. Just 10 seconds until 1.15. Go on. Hurry to your death. What's going on? It should have happened already. This doesn't make sense. I don't understand why she's not leaving. <laughs> an alias? She used an alias. That has to be it. Ryuk knew all along. He could see her real name with his eyes. Oh, this isn't good. It's gonna be almost impossible to ask for a real name knowing she gave me an alias the first time. You know, Light, that deal I talked about is always open. You remember, don't you? The deal for the Shinigami eyes that lets you see a person's name. It's no different than putting on contact lenses. Only takes a few seconds. Would I be willing to give up half my life 
just so I could learn this woman's real name? Quit wasting my time. Just shut your mouth, Shinigami. Excuse me. Yes? There's something that I should probably tell you. Okay. The thing is, it'll be impossible for you to contact anyone from the task force directly. Huh? Let me explain. The task force has been organized so that its members can't be identified and nobody on the outside knows who's in charge. <laughs> That's pretty clever. I'm impressed. If this is supposed to be a secret, then how do you know so much? Very well. You leave me no choice. It's because I'm actually a member of the task force. <gasps> Wait, are you saying you're an agent? Elle was worried that the kid a task force had become too small. Many of the detectives fear Kida and quit. I may still only be a high school student, but I've been able to help the police solve a couple of cases before, so I was asked to join the task force. So, Elle trusts you then? Yes. Is that so? Then that's why... The truth is, I also worked under Elle on a case in the U.S. about two years ago. Are you serious? You worked under L? Up until three months ago, I was working with the American FBI. <sighs> this is it. Finally something I can use. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. In fact, I noticed early on that your investigative skills were far beyond those of an amateur. From the beginning, I knew I had to do things outside the regular channels, because from my perspective, both the police and the members of the task force were suspects. But I'm certain that I can trust Elle. You remind me of Elle. There's something about you that's just like him. Hmm. Will you investigate this case with me? Huh? I want you to come work with us as part of the task force. We could use your help. As I'm sure you know, not just anyone can do it. Please, I know this is sudden, but the team needs people like you. I'm serious. You could be doing so much more than gathering information on your own. I can't help but think that it must be fate that I met you today. I'd like to be the one to recommend you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I guess I got a little bit too excited. But you're young and beautiful and you've got your life ahead of you. Why put it all in danger for this? No! Now that Ray's gone, I've got nothing to lose anymore. I want to catch Kira. I don't care about anything else. It's all I want to do. Please let me investigate this case with you. <laughs> yes, of course. I just need to see some form of identification before we proceed. So will a Japanese driver's license do the trick then? Sure. Because... Because I'm Kira. What's the matter? There's something I have to do. Then goodbye, Naomi Misura. Would you please hold for a moment? Ryuzaki. 
It's Yukito, the NPA. He says he's on the phone with someone from the tip line who has information for us. Ray Pamber's fiance, Naomi Misora. since the day after her fiancé died. I'm sure that anyone in her situation would be pretty depressed. Was it? Suicide. No. But Naomi Misura I knew was strong. Not to mention she was also an excellent FBI agent. If anything, it's more likely she'd be trying to catch Kira. It appears she came to Japan with Penber. It's possible that she may have found a lead. If that's the case, did Kira manage to get to her first? Everyone, at this point, I'd like to focus our investigation on only those people who Ray Pender was tailing. In particular, he was assigned to two police officers and those closest to them. Very well. Who are these two individuals he was investigating? Deputy Director Kitamura, along with Detective Superintendent Yagami and their families. At this stage, I'd like to place wiretaps and surveillance cameras in both households. See you later, Light. Yeah, see you tomorrow. What? No one's home yet. I'm home. and tell them to play our message. Very well. Understood. That's right. Huh? What's this? ICPO? They're saying that in response to the Kira murders, Interpol has decided to dispatch a force of 1,500 investigators to Japan. The investigators were drawn from the law enforcement agencies of its member nations. 1,500 investigators? Whoa. No. This is the exact same trick he used last time. The ICPO sure is stupid. Huh? I mean, there's no point in making this announcement. If 
If they're gonna send all these people here to investigate, shouldn't they keep it a secret? Even the FBI agents who were secretly investigating were killed by Kira. Why would this be any different? If you ask me, this is nothing more than a desperate attempt to shock Kira in the hopes that he'll reveal himself somehow. Quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if Kira sees right through this. <laughs> Your son's clever, isn't he? Well, yes. I think that's it, Light. I found every camera they put in the house. I guess Shinigami get tired when they work hard. Now let me explain where they all are. It's a little bit complicated, so listen up. There sure are a lot of cameras in this room. I counted 64 in total. I guess whoever put them here expected you to at least find some of them. Uh, what I want to know is how am I going to be able to eat apples? Obviously that's impossible now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I guess you can't talk in here. But we'd better discuss this outside tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Judging by the number of cameras he's planted, he's planning to make a decision within a short period of time. Any normal person would slip under these circumstances, but it won't be that easy with me, L. This is the closest he will get. so the criminals will continue to die over the next three weeks. But Nell is aware by now that Kira can control the times of death of his victims. Therefore, to avoid suspicion, Nell needs to see the criminals whose names are being broadcast continue to die while I have no access to that information. Oh! The symptoms are starting! I'm gonna show you, Nell. <laughs> information and my preparations, I can continue to kill criminals whose names are broadcast on the news while masquerading as a typical high school student studying for his entrance exams. I'll solve equations with my right hand and write names with my left. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. After dinner, your son just goes back to studying without turning on the TV or his computer. He has less than 10 days till his entrance exams. Now, a criminal who I should have no knowledge of will die of a heart attack in 40 seconds. And the witness to my alibi is L himself. ago, a bank clerk suspected of embezzlement suddenly died of a heart attack during his interrogation. His name was announced on the 9 o'clock news. It's him again. It doesn't make sense that Kira would kill a petty criminal right after his identity was broadcast. <gasps> I know it's only the first day after the cameras were installed, but the Yagami household seems almost too innocent to me. Regarding Naomi Misura's disappearance, shouldn't we open an investigation into this matter? If we do, it should be coordinated separately from the Kira case. Also, we'll have to use police sketches instead of actual photos. Ryuzaki, hmm? something seems to be happening on Sakura TV. In other words, all of the reporters and staff here are Kira's hostages. Aside from that, we have a professional obligation to share this message with you. I assure you that this is not a hoax, uh, and that Sakura uh, TV is not airing this tape for the purposes of sensationalism. What is this? Four days ago, our program director here at Sakura TV received four tapes. Our audience range should go up 60, no, no more like 70 percent after this. this. should offer proof of his powers by predicting yet another death. Beyond that, we understand that it contains a message to all the people of the world from Kira. <gasps> this has to be another fake, don't you think? I doubt it. I'm pretty sure even Sakura TV wouldn't stoop that low. And now, the video. <laughs> This video was being aired on April 18th at 
exactly 5.59 p.m. as I requested. Then the time now is 5.59, 47, 48, 49. Please change the channel to Bayou TV. The news anchor, Mr. Kazuhiko Himina, will die of a heart attack at exactly 6 o'clock. Change it. It can't be. Stop this broadcast. We can't let him finish. Get Sakura TV on the line. It's no good. I'm trying, but none of my contacts at the station have their phones on. All the main telephone lines are busy, too. Damn it. Uh, Okita, I'll stop this broadcast myself if that's what it takes. People of the world, please listen to me. The last thing I want to do is kill the innocent. I intend to create a new world. A perfect world that is free from evil. If you're going to join me in my mission, I know we can make it happen. And as long as no one tries to catch me, I promise that the innocent will not die. All you have to do now is be patient. I will create a better world that we can all enjoy. Say goodbye to the world as you know it. Soon, we'll have a new world ruled by benevolence, inhabited, kind-hearted, honest people. longer. 
Therefore, what needs to happen very soon is for me to join the task force. It'll allow me to keep track of L and this fake kid, uh, Mr. Yagami. I'd like your permission to ask your son to cooperate with us on this investigation. If you want my son to join the task force, does this mean you no longer suspect him? Catching one of the Kiras will inevitably provide us with some clues that will lead us to finding the other Kira. Misa, I gave that death note to you, so why not use it for yourself? I am using it for myself because I believe in what Kira is doing. I want to know what kind of person Kira is. I want to meet him and talk to him. It's a dangerous game you're playing. There's a chance you could be killed. Do you understand? It's all right. I'm sure that Kira is kind to those with pure hearts. And if it came down to that, I'm still stronger than he is because I have the eyes. That's strange. Dad told me to be here. Am I too early? Block number. Hello? Hello. Is this Light Yagami? Yes, it is. This is L. <laughs> Your father has told me a lot about you, Light. I asked him if I could discuss the Kira investigation with you today, and he agreed. Of course, I'm sure you must be busy. If it's an inconvenience? Oh. No, not at all. Well then, let me give you directions. skills for quite some time is that so well thank you for the compliment please while you're here call me ryuzaki now this might be a bit sudden but i have a videotape i'd like you to watch here have a seat sure no problem <clears throat> here we go It's, uh, not starting. Huh? Oh, yes, I forgot. Uh, please roll it now! <coughs> is this that broadcast? No, this is a different tape. The first broadcast was made by a second Kira, so to lure him out, we aired a message designed to sound like it came from the original. I am the true Kira, to the one who also claimed to be Kira. If you misuse my name again, I will have no choice but to punish you. I assume you saw it. Yes. I figured the police fabricated that message. This is the response you received, but it's hard to understand. Maybe you'll have more luck with it. Kira, thank you for your reply. Please do not worry. I will follow orders and do as you say. I really want to meet you. Who is this guy? What the hell is he thinking? I don't think you have the eyes. 
But you don't have to worry. I would never try to kill you. That's a promise. <sighs> Is this guy completely stupid? He can't just talk about the Shinigami eyes openly like this. <sighs> Please tell me who I can meet. No, I can't get agitated. And when we meet, we can confirm our identities by showing our Shinigami to each other. Whoever this is, he's a liability. I have to do something quick. Hmm. What do you make of it? That was a little surprising. At first, it seems like this kid isn't idealistic. I think he's doing this out of a desire to meet the real Kira. And then there's that word. He mentioned Shinigami. That's right. Oh, that's good. Beautiful. Just like that. Perfect. I'm telling you, these are gonna knock him dead. You look like a little angel, Misa. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. That shoot went on forever. Modeling takes a lot of energy. Hey, Rem. Uh -huh. Can I ask you something? What is it? Each Shinigami has to have one death note of their own. For a Shinigami to give a notebook to a human, he needs to have two. You could give a death note to Kira. Because he somehow found a way to sneak an extra one past the Shinigami King? Right. What about you? The Shinigami King isn't someone who's easily fooled. It doesn't happen often. Oh, then how did I get mine? Let's just say it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm one of the few in the Shinigami realm who knows how to kill another of my kind. That's how I ended up with two. was a Shinigami named Jealous, who spent all of his time watching over a certain human girl.
Oh, I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to tell you. But I currently suspect you of being Kira. Of course, I'm only 5% certain at this point. You're the only person outside of headquarters who knows me as L. So, in the unlikely event that I die in the next few days, I've instructed everyone at headquarters to assume that you are Kira. <laughs> Damn him. As soon as I make the decision to kill him, he suddenly appears almost as if to distract me. And the way things are, I'm playing right into his hands. sure how you'll take this, but regarding Misa Amani, there's something you should know. We've taken her into custody under suspicion of being the second Kira. <laughs> how long has he known about Misa? We gathered physical evidence from the envelopes that were sent by the second Kira. In particular, we recovered hairs and fibers from the masking tape used to seal them. They matched what we found in Misa's room. There would be a public uproar if it gets out that she's been apprehended as the second Kira. So officially, we've charged her manager with drug possession, and she's a voluntary witness. But I doubt any of this will get out. <laughs> Ryuzaki, what's the meaning of this? I've apprehended her on suspicion of being the second Kira. I'm afraid this is necessary. Oh, and Mr. Yagami. Light has now become our prime suspect, and I'm probably going to bring him in for interrogation as well. Please be prepared for that. Uh, what's the matter, Rem? Light Yagami. I just had Misa forfeit her ownership of the Death Note. As a result, all of her memories related to the Notebook are gone. There's no way she'll be able to reveal your secret. Misa had insisted on refusing my offer to help her escape. No doubt it's because she knows it would cause you trouble. She has endured all of this suffering 
Because she wants you to love her. Listen, Light Yagami. If you don't find a way to save Misa, I will kill you myself. since we've detained Amane and Lady Agami. Kira's punishment of criminals has completely stopped. It's practically a given at this point that the two are both Kira. Why would Light willingly volunteer to be detained? Does he really think that's gonna work? That he'll need to let off the hook if he can just prove he wasn't conscious of being Kira? It's not like Light Yagami. No, it's not like Kira. for one week, but I'm sure it can be easy. Are you feeling all right? Now that I've come this far, I think it's about time. Yeah, I know I must look pretty bad in here, but this useless pride, I suppose I'll have to. Get rid of it. surveillance, but it's great that they can relax a bit and get back to their normal lives. For God's sake, Matsuda, would you stop with this Misa Misa crap? Man, this has got to be the lamest date I've ever been on. I know I requested your cooperation, but the fact remains you're both still suspects. You'll just have to bear with me. You know what? We finally arranged for us to work together on this case, yet you seem so unmotivated. What's going on? Unmotivated? You're right. Actually, I'm depressed. Depressed? What for? Well, <laughs> truthfully, all this time I thought that you were Kira, and my entire case hinged on that fact. 
I guess I just can't get past the fact that my deduction was wrong. Ryuzaki.
All right. I just have to get close to him, right? Leave it to me. And you want me to make sure that we're able to breach the security and override the surveillance cameras in the Yotsuba Group's head office? Is that all? Yes. At this point, it's safe to assume that Kira and the Yotsuba Group are connected in some way. We're going to investigate Yotsuba to determine who holds Kira's power. And if there is more than one person who possesses this ability, we need a clear understanding quickly. Damn it! I can't hear them clearly. If only I could hear just one thing, something important. I just heard someone say kill. Kira, there it is. Kira, they said it. What's that? Let's have Kira get rid of him. I heard it. They really are working with him. I did it. This is huge. Who the hell are you? Please be sure not to act impulsively out of panic or haste, and don't take matters into your own hands. Ryuzaki. Yes, what is it? I have just received an emergency signal from Matsuda's belt. Uh, where is he? It seems that it's coming from within the head office of the Yotsuba group. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Um, my name is Taro Matsui. I'm an agent with Yoshida Productions. I just dropped by to ask if your company would be interested in using our top multi-talented star, Misa Amane, as your new spokesperson. <laughs> Matsuda, you idiot. Exactly the main issue now, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Here you are, drink right off. Misa's <laughs> pretty good at this sort of thing. Jeez, this sure is a crappy role. 
Look, everyone, I think you should all just leave this for us to take care of and go home. What? What? Don't you worry, we'll handle it. Just don't forget about me for your next campaign, okay? While I'm aware of the fact that we're shorthanded, I'm not very pleased about having to do this sort of thing myself. Matsuda, you idiot.
at all costs. I've got to test her first. This is Ginzo Kaneboshi, president of a major finance company. He's infamous for his immoral collection methods. Sometimes he even makes people pay with their insurance money. How about him? Would you be able to confirm his death right away? Yeah, as soon as I call him. Okay, then. Could you turn around for just a sec? Misa, you want me to kill Ginzo Kaneboshi, don't you? Then Higuchi will believe your claim about being the second Kira. Very well. All right. He should be dead by now. Hello, this is Higuchi from Yotsuba. Sorry, our president just collapsed and stopped breathing. Call back later. just a minute ago. Would have been impossible to do that unless she had the power. This proves it. <laughs> so, if I'm Kira, you'll marry me, right? Then prove it. I'm not going to be able to kill until I get home. You understand? Oh, well, that's no good then. For all I know, you're just making all this up so you have an excuse to take me to your place. Wait, I know. Why don't you stop killing the criminals on TV? That should prove it. If you're Kira, it should be no problem. You can start killing again when I tell you to. If all the times and deaths match up, then I'll believe you. After all, killing criminals in that way is something that only Kira can do. I see what you mean. That's a good idea. All right, Misa. I'm Kira, so in order to make you trust me and prove that I'm him, I'll stop killing criminals for the time being. Then once you're fully convinced I'm the real thing, you and I can get married. <gasps> and so, based on what he said, Higuchi is Kira! <laughs> it's been about three days since I stopped killing criminals. That should be good enough, shouldn't it? Now, when I marry Misa Amane, the second Kira, I'll have the Shinigami eyes. With that power in my hands, Yotsuba will be under my control. <laughs> Higuchi, we've got a problem. Turn on the television. Check out Sakura TV. So you're saying one of those people is Kira, right? Yes. I've got a lot of evidence to prove it, too. What the hell is this? Come on, it's probably a hoax. This is Sakura TV. No, it's more than that. At the beginning of the show, he said that he overheard a meeting between eight people. What? Oh. It's... It's him! It's Misa's manager. Matsui, that's his name. Why is he still alive? Are you all right? But we can stop if you want. No, I knew I was going to be in danger going into this. This is for the sake of justice, so I'll see you through to the end, even if it means my death. Yeah, that's perfect. Listen, just be sure to hold off on the Kira announcement till the last minute, all right? This is bad. Who knows when they'll make the announcement? Kira's identity will be announced soon. Cosme Misa, a devilish charm, an angel's glitter. Misa, the Mina, it's me. Are you watching Sakura TV? Why don't you call your father at the House of Counselors? Have him pull some strings at the Ministry of Internal Affairs to stop this broadcast. I'm watching, but I don't think we could stop it. No one believes this program, so we'd only make <sighs> ourselves look suspicious if we stop it. Besides, there shouldn't be anything to worry about. The guy revealed his face earlier. Everyone knows it's really Taro Matsui. Namikawa's already gone ahead and told everyone to watch the show. Since one of us seven has to be Kira, that should mean Taro Matsui will soon be dead. Right? Of course, I'm the only one who knows or even suspects that Taro Matsui isn't his real name. That means if I say anything, it'll reveal the fact that I'm Kira. Yeah, that's true. I'll talk to you later. Stay tuned to Sakura TV. If they're going to announce it at the end of the program, that means I have two hours.
See camera one again. It's weird. You'd think he'd be desperate to kill Matsuda this very second, but he's gone. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 seconds. Kira is a cold-blooded murderer. I can't forgive him for what he's done. Uh, damn, he didn't die! Well, what's he talking about? He said he didn't die. Did he already try and kill Matsuda? Was writing his name down all he had to do, or was it... <sighs> Control. We will now end this what? podcast. Dummies. Oh, this, this can't 
Misa, all I want is to enjoy a long life with you in an ideal world. That's just how I feel. Light, I'm so happy. Let's create a new world together. It'll be a place with no crime, where only kind people live, okay? Ryosaki, is something the matter? What is it? Hmm? What's wrong? deaths just yesterday. All of them were broadcast after Higuchi's death. Immediately after, huh? Do you think this could mean that Higuchi wasn't necessarily Kira after all? No. It's safe to say that Higuchi was the one killing criminals until we apprehended him. Then this means we're dealing with yet another Kira. Oh man! Not again! Damn. Damn you, Kira. Another Kira's appeared. What's going on here? I can't believe this. It has to be Misa. These killings began as soon as Misa was freed, didn't they? Ryosaki, you still going on about that? She has nothing to do with this. Think about it. This started as soon as Higuchi died. Mm, I suppose you're right. Oh, well, if there is another notebook floating around out there and someone is now using it to kill criminals, I'll just have to bring that person to justice. The Shinigami insisted that it didn't know, but if someone were able to kill simply by writing a name on a torn piece of the notebook, it's not impossible. But there's that rule. Whoever writes a name in this notebook has to write another name within 13 days. Otherwise they die. Light Yagami and Misa Amani are both still alive. Thirteen days. That's the only problem. Ryuzaki, I've been thinking. Even if we do manage to catch the person who's been writing names in the notebook, will we really be able to legally convict and punish them for mass homicide? What? 
Of course we can convict them. This guy's intentionally writing names in the notebook, knowing that these people are going to die. Even if we don't plan on publicly acknowledging the notebook, the least we can do is execute the killer. <gasps> it's not a very humane way to do things, but the higher-ups would probably want to take measures like that. If they admit to killing with the notebook, they'd receive the death penalty. Or life in prison, at least. Mm. That's the best that they could hope for. What are you thinking like Yagami, making Misa kill again? She'll be caught, and once that happens, you'll also be... <sighs> so that's what your plan is. You're truly disgusting. Light Yagami is certain that I will do anything to help Misa and save her life. And at this point, the only way for me to save Misa is to write Ryuzaki's real name in my notebook. And if I kill Ryuzaki... It would mean that I deliberately lengthened Misa's life, and I will die as well. Like Yagami has planned everything so that it will work out in his favor. What are you gonna do, Ram? You may be a Shinigami, but you can't hide the fact that you care for Misa. There's no way you would turn your back on her now, after she's already halved her lifespan twice. Come on, think about Misa's happiness. Most of the things you say sound like complete nonsense. And there'd be no end to my troubles if I actually took you seriously all the time. I probably know that better than anyone. Yes. I would say that's a fair assessment. But I could say the same about you. Mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Tell me, Light, from the moment you were born, has there ever been a point where you've actually told the truth? Where's this coming from, Ryuzaki? I do admit I stretch the truth here and there. However, finding one person in this world who's never had to tell a lie, it wouldn't be easy. Human beings just aren't made to be perfect like that. Everybody lies from time to time. Even so, I've always made a conscious effort to be careful not to tell a lie that could hurt others. That's my answer. I had a feeling you'd say something like that. Ryuzaki, what's the meaning of all this? You've somehow gotten approval from another country to use the notebook for an execution? Watari, excellent work, thank you. Not at all. First things first. Please make arrangements to transport the notebook immediately. 
right. Ryuzaki, what are you trying to do? I'm gonna try out the notebook for real. <sighs> we can't do that! And there's no point in testing it now when we already know the notebook's power is real! And besides, who's gonna write the name? If someone starts writing in the notebook, they'll have to obey the 13-day rule and keep writing names forever! It's already been worked out. The person who will write in the book is a criminal scheduled to be executed in just over 13 days. If he's still alive 13 days after writing the name, he'll be pardoned from execution. But still, to sacrifice a life... We're very close. If we work this out, the entire case will be solved. Hey, Ryusaki, come on, snap out of it! What happened? What's going on? Ah! Ah! Calm down, right? We're gonna die! Watari, Ryusaki, it'll be us next! <gasps>
what do you know? So L is finally gone for good, huh? Too bad. I guess that means there won't be anything interesting to look forward to anymore. That's what I think. Wouldn't you agree, Light? <laughs> 